I think they just played a really good game. I mean, they, they had a game plan, they stuck to it, and obviously the results were what the results were. Were you guys able to find rhythm in that first half? And maybe if not, then at what point could you say you guys were starting to click and find that kind of rhythm? I think it was an up and down game. I mean, the score doesn't indicate our rhythm. I think we was getting good shots. We just missing some shots we could have made, too. It was, you a very, it's a very physical game, lots of fouls on both sides. Did you, did you feel like that was interrupting kind of like the rhythm of how you guys are playing as well? Or, you know, sense, sensing any frustration from you guys that with the, how the pace of the game kept getting fouled? Yeah, I mean, foul trouble always hurts uh, the rhythm because, you know, there's certain lineups we haven't played with, we had to play with today. So that's what I was saying. Do you feel like that also took you out of the game mentally a little bit as a team, just knowing that the whistles were a little quick today? I think I think we were locked in. I mean, I mean, we did what we had to do. We, we was focused and uh, really connected, but we just didn't get the result we wanted. When you guys did face that foul trouble in those new lineups in the second half, how do you feel the communication was? You know, on the bench, out on the court, just as a team. I think we did what we had to do. I mean, we communicated on the court. They they ran some good stuff. They got some good shots, and hats off to them. They played well. What were some of the things that they did offensively? You guys you were noticing that were kick, getting some of you guys to be late on some of your switches. I think they were just setting a lot of off ball screens, so we weren't communicating on some of those and we got it mixed up a couple times and we didn't switch when we needed to. Nelly, what, go ahead. God, no, you. What do you learn from a loss like this? I think we, we got to watch the tape first and really analyze and observe and see what we did wrong and then go from there. Really. Nelly, when we're this late in the season, you know, every win, every loss, every game, every every possession, you know, it, it matters and gets so, looked at so closely. How do you keep that pressure off of you guys and how do you come out here and you're able to play freely, so to speak? Uh, we were preseason 14th in the league, so I mean, we still keep that chip on our shoulders. We got uh, result we didn't want today, but we're back to the lab tomorrow. We're gonna get back. You, talk, you talk about the ACC standings. I mean, this is a team that's near the bottom, and you saw the quality that they're able to play. You saw the atmosphere that they're able to provide. What's that say about the depth of the ACC that, that I mean, this, this team? This is one of the better leagues in the country. So I mean. It is what it is. It's a good team. It's a great environment, and a lot of teams in the ACC are just like that as well. This, this team, we've seen this team knock off other top ACC teams like Virginia, like, like Miami. Is there something you guys can take away from remembering like this kind of environment and this thing you're here to push forward? Yeah, I think going forward, no game's going to be easy. So I think every game's going to have different challenges. We just got to be ready to adapt to them and fly.